Today, this is a BMW M4, and in my opinion, it's a bit ugly. In the opinion of the, the internet. And obviously, I have completed all the requirements on the seasonal depression. Yes, that is, that is the new name. To unlock the BMW M4. Honestly, I'm actually excited to try this car. So all we gotta do is press this button and voila we have completed it we've got it i really don't know what's going on in forza today but it is properly deserty dusty is there a storm about to happen it seems like that's going to be the case but this is the bmw m4 thankfully not the m3 because two doors are always better than four but either way i'm actually really excited to check this car out of course we're gonna get to the customization of this thing but i wanted to basically do a quick drive and overview of the car as it is i have to say they've moved away from the lexus lights a little bit and made them a little bit more unique i think the the end looks a little bit boring, to be completely honest. I think the reason this car is so jarring is because the rest of the car is so vanilla. It's not even vanilla. It's Forza. It's so Forza. <laughs> Forza characters. But it ju it's just properly generic. And then the front end is the only unique piece. And to be honest, that's probably why they did it. Just to make it just not look so bloody generic. If you said to me a couple of years ago that this was made by Rockstar Games, then honestly, I probably would have believed you. It's just, it's it's as you get. And I almost feel like, I don't know, this could just be me looking in too deep to things, but maybe they've made it so generic that when they make the electric version, the next electric M car, they're using it so they can make that look very exciting. Make this vanilla, make the electric one look exciting convert them over to electric sales. Easy. Now, I did want to jump into some other BMW M cars today. M3, M4s, same car. Because I do think it needs to be done. Now, there's no conversion option on this car, which is a little bit, I don't, a little bit disappointing. To consider, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Are we really swapping a tip? Come on. What the frick is going on? Uh, we can go for a V8, which would clearly make this car a million times better. Or a V10. That also is pretty damn sick. I love that we can do that. We're definitely going to play with that a little bit later. Uh, it is definitely the rear-wheel drive variant. It's not the X-Drive, which does have all-wheel drive as an option. But I don't care. We're in here for the customer. Oh, oh, I like that. That's, that's a like nice, subtle change. Not far off from what the Forza kit does, to be honest with you. And of course, we better have a one. Oh, oh, Forza wing. Oh, yeah. That's what I want in my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so you know, I'm not, I'm not actually very excited. These wings are acceptable at best. We've got the BMW. Oh, this is actually the, the M Sport. I, I don't even know. I'm not even going to pretend to know. The, the, the bumper option that I think genuinely, again, they've done it so it is different. I think it looks horrendous. There's no, it's, it's not great. Uh, well, thankfully, we've got the side skirts on and we add a little bit of a kind of rear canard. That just spat, if you will. It just looks a lot nicer and we can go BMW with parts here, M parts here as well. But you get the M parts definitely elevate this car from like a really boring looking car to a little bit cooler. Like they've done a decent job here. Really do not get on with the stock wheels. So we are definitely doing some changes. Yeah, we need, we need something spicier. Or even more simple, to be honest. Now, I feel like all BMWs need to have basically no tire whatsoever. But thankfully, that's not really the case here. Did I make them the same size? I hope I did. Get that fitment corrected because it is a new car. And, well, I didn't say new car. All cars kind of have this. They actually poke a little bit. That's... That's, that's sick. Make them nice and thick because she's going to spin everywhere. It's a BMW. And, of course, we need to change the tire compound. Oh, I forgot. We got the Hot Wheels one. That looks... Looks a bit funny, actually. And of course, we're going to throw all the upgrades on. And ultimately, I want to see how this thing is on its standard engine. And then put a V8 in it. Because V8s are better. Just how it is. Now, I have to say, I really do like the white on it. I think it looks really cool. Really clean. Uh, again, it's super simple design. So maybe we should make it a little bit more of an exciting color. You've got gray, which uh, thanks BMW. That's exactly what or black, wow, you know, I'm loving these creative colors. Green, which to be honest with you, actually looks really nice on this car. I do like it, it kind of reminds me of like an Oxford green. And then we've got blue, which again, probably one of my favorite colors on this car, it looks very good. And a big bright yellow, which again, very, very cool. I do like that to be honest. Of course, then you've got the custom colors, which honestly, I genuinely am gonna say, I really do like the colors on this car. The black, because there's so much contrast, I'm a Lexus boy big grills really mean you can basically get away with any color but i don't know there's something about the white that's pink something about the white me like and we can get ourselves to just over s2 so a class is probably the best again all wheel drive would change that but this is better let's go we're doing a community event in the m4 and i it's something i've never understood we're gonna talk a little bit about the m4 
One absolute ass. I hate this so much, man. <laughs> Here we go. BMW pig nose. God, this is spinning. So here's my thing with the BMW M3 M4 debacle. I don't understand why this is the M4. To me, this should be the M3. So the bigger number surely means bigger or better. Generally, with BMW, it means bigger. Like, look at the X range. You go from, what, X3 now to X7. It's stupid. It's unnecessary. Anyway, to me, three-door is is a hatchback or like a coupe with a two-door configuration and a boot as generally a hatch. But of course, you can get away with saying this is a two or three door. The lesser number is close to saying three doors. This has two doors, therefore, it is the M3. The four-door M4 is the way it should be. Of course, that's like a small little detail. It's not really that big a deal, but it's always something I always consider. Like, surely the M4 should be the four-door. Anyway, I've not particularly ever really enjoyed BMWs after the E90 series. I think the E92, of course, is probably one of my favorites. I don't think it's the best. I think the 46 M3 is the best, and I think that's pretty much agreed upon. But the E90 is definitely super cool because it's a V8, and I love V8s. V8s just make everything better. And if you disagree, well, you're wrong. Except, like, Japanese Skylines and Supras. And don't V8 those. But in the UK and pretty much everywhere, there is a mega huge culture of these German cars, specifically the BMW M3s, M4s, and it's, it's always been massive. And you see a bunch of uh, UK YouTubers and European YouTubers get these and modify the absolute living crap out of them. And oh my God, they're so sick. Wheel spin, wheel spin. I have never purchased a modern BMW because I've tested them. I don't say they're super, shut up. <laughs> so in that case, yes, I have had <laughs> one, but I've just never really clicked. They've never been very exciting and they don't feel very performancing and i think this one specifically is more so the case it's just not exciting but it would be more exciting if it had a v8 let's give this boy a proper engine you're welcome bmw i'm doing it for you because you know you want to do it too and you can also slap on some turbo so if you're like oh no i don't want na G slap on the twins the twins will love it now of course you could keep it rear wheel drive, but ultimately the best orientation is to go all wheel drive, all wheel drive, V8, manual, best car ever. That is ultimate car, which goes on to say why I bought the Audi instead. I bought the Audi RS4, which I actually hated, uh, but <laughs> the, the characteristics were there. A really awesome car, V8, manual, all wheel drive. So can BMW, I mean me and BMW, do it better. Oh, uh, apparently my V8 motor is not that powerful. We're actually reducing the, the horsepower and adding. I didn't say it was practical having a V8, <laughs> but I expected a little bit more power with my twin turbo V. Uh, S1 is where this car is very good at. Yep, yep, yep. It's nice and uh, wet over here right now, but let's give it some V8. Instantly sounds better, better growl, better noise in general. Let's have a listen. Oh, you know, that's something I've got to experience properly. I've got V8. I've had many V8s, but I want turbo V8 power. I just want to know what that feels like. I've had, I've driven a V10 R8, but like turbo V8, just, that just screams the best. Twin turbo V8, ultimate power, baby. Ultimate power. Like I've considered cars like RS6s, I've considered cars like, well, the LCF, but that's dead. But honestly, I would actually genuinely have really properly considered this car if it came with a proper proper engine. As I said, I love the E90. I want the V8 of the E90 in an E46. That's then the ultimate car. Yes, it's not the best. You'll probably beat me in your normal engine. BMW E46, but, but I don't care. V8 motor, baby, so much more stable. We really could have had the X-Drive version and like maybe have the ability to switch it on and off like in Need for Speed Payback. Why is that not a thing? It's so stable. It's beautiful. I love this car very much. If it just got rid of the pig nose, obviously. Now, I don't know if it's actually any better. Oh. No. To be honest with you guys, I'm going to say it. Oh my God, the noise. I'm going to say how it is. If you're going to get a BMW, don't get the new one. Get this one or the 46. They're just the best ones. Or the 36. To be honest with you, or the 30. Basically, any past the E90, put them in the E92, put them in the bin. In the, the bin of M3. This is better. God bless and good night. Be sure to smash like. Let me know your favorite BMW down in the comments. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.